Yo, what is it? Just coming on real quick, man, just to uh, just kind of give my two cents. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to say nothing about the situation, you know, because everybody seems to be, you know, putting they, 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 they two cents in. You know what I'm saying? But they're not really coming with anything constructive, right? All they're doing is pointing fingers and, you know, uh, uh, wanting to, you know, clown and, and disassociate and talk about and, you know, all these things, right? But my question is, where's the support? And where's the love and understanding? Let's talk about it. What happened to praying for one another? You know what I'm saying? When you see that your brother is, is taken in a fall, pray for him and restore him back to the faith. You know what I'm saying? I, I just don't, man, I just, I don't get it. We so quick to just, you know, cut people off at the neck and the knees. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, what happened to forgiveness, man? What happened to praying for people? You know what I'm saying? What happened to restoring them? Man, we just, we just so ready to throw people in the trash, but let it be us. Oh, we gonna want that forgiveness. We gonna be calling everybody in their mama to pray for us that we know can get a prayer through. Please pray for me. I'm in a situation. I need the prayers of the saints. I need, I need the church to go on a fast. <laughs> right when it's us we want all these things done but let it be somebody else we got to do better you know there was a time right when everybody and I mean everybody okay everybody white folks black folks I mean it didn't matter what nationality you were everybody loves some Will Smith you dig I remember when the cat first came out, you know, even before the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, you know what I'm saying? Everybody loved this dude. This dude didn't curse in his raps ever, you know what I'm saying? Um, he was dope. He he made everybody, you know, move and, and dance. He brought positivity. And then when he started doing his movies, you know, first with the Fresh Prince and then, you know, all these movies he's done, right, throughout the years. Everybody's loved him. Loved him. Even with his off, you know, camera um lifestyle and things that that he chose to do i mean those were his choices right but they still loved him forget the fact that he's human forget the fact that he's a black man in hollywood having to deal with a plethora of stuff that we don't even realize forget the fact that he you know he, he has children and a wife that he's trying to juggle with a career that most black men, you know, um, find it a difficult thing to do because either they're not with their, you know, in the children's life or with the baby's mom or, you know, they're not married or it's just a, a whole plethora of issues. We can even get into that. But it's funny how everybody loved this dude. This dude, I mean, you know what I'm saying? Everybody loved him. And he makes one mistake. I mean, a mistake that's seen by everyone. You know what I'm saying? He makes one mistake openly. And now the whole world wants to denigrate him. Throw him to the wolves. Throw him to the alligators. You know, feed him to the lions. What's that all about? You dig? One, one mistake against another individual that he needs to get that right with that individual. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, I mean, yeah, that's, that's right. I mean, quick, super quick, <laughs> quicker than quick. You know what I'm saying? What happened to the fact that the, the man is human? He made a mistake. He lost his cool. You know what I'm saying? We don't know what kind of pressures he's, he's in living in that household with his wife. You know, we don't know all the ins and outs of their relationship. We don't know a lot of stuff. All we know is that this man has been under a lot of pressure and a lot of heat, right? Especially when it comes to his personal life, right? 
And not all of that was his choice to be revealed. No, 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 no. A lot of that was revealed by his wife and his children. You know what I'm saying? And even when a lot of those things revealed, he, you know, he, he was kind of blindsided. Like, okay, I might have knew about this, but I knew you was going to talk about this and expose me in front of the whole world. Right? Not only that, with this whole red table bull crap, right? But then, like I said, he makes one mistake. And everybody wants to throw him to the wolves. They want to take his Oscar and ban him from the uh, Oscars. And all. Hold on. Why y'all don't do that to Weinstein? Oh, was I not supposed to say that? Oh. Why y'all didn't do that to uh, uh, the dude that was running everything? You know, the, the big dude that was running everything. So, all I'm trying to say is, man, why everybody trying to all of a sudden now throw Will Smith to the wolves. Oh, he didn't apologize. He should apologize right away. You wouldn't have damn apologized right away. So miss me with all that judgment. You know what I'm saying? It took a few days. He probably wanted to apologize right away, but people in his ear and every, you know, all this. So he was probably trying to figure out what's the best way to approach this. I, I didn't already did this. I did this probably, you know, out of impulse and looking at, you know, and all I screwed up. Damn. Right? My main goal needs to be to fix this with Chris. Damn, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I need to fix this with Chris. That's my whole point. Let me fix this with Chris. You know what I'm saying? I can deal with Jay later. Let me fix this with my boy. Besides what everybody else is saying, let me get with my boy. Yo, Chris. Can we meet down to so-and-so? Just me and you. No paparazzi, no nut. Just me and you. I want to apologize, man. Face-to-face, man-to-man without nobody. Just me and you. So it's really that simple? Once I apologize to me and you, then I will go to the world and apologize to you before the world since I embarrassed you in front of the world. I'm going to get it right in front of the world. But before I do anything in the public eye, I need to get with you, homeboy. I need to tell you how sorry I am and how messed up in the head I was. And man, what can I do to rectify this, bro? And if there's nothing I can do to rectify, look, I understand. You know what I'm saying? I messed up. And I want to come to you man to man and just say, I'm sorry, bro. I apologize. I was under a lot of pressure and, you know, just tripping. No excuses, though. There's no excuse for that. There's no excuse for what I did. That's what needs to happen. And then let let that whole situation figure itself out. But now everybody's coming out of the damn woodwork. Where the hell were y'all before Will snapped? Where y'all at? Why y'all wasn't calling him? Why y'all wasn't giving him advice? Denzel? Why you wasn't telling him about the devil trying to sift him like we before this happened? Tyler Perry? You know what I'm saying? Where were y'all at? That's all I'm trying to say. Y'all have seen this man. You have seen him, you, you know, kind of, you know, on the decline in his personal life. Or he may be doing great professionally, but you guys are close to him. You guys are, you, you know what I'm saying? You guys are in his circle. Why y'all wasn't hollering at homeboy before this happened? You need to say that again. I think they need to hear that again. Y'all need to hear it? You need to say that again. So that's why everybody coming out of World War woodwork now and everybody got an opinion man i ain't trying to I, I don't even care about what people are saying because where are the people that's in his corner where are the people that's saying yo man i'm still rocking with you dog yo i didn't have a breakdown too you know what i'm saying i didn't slap somebody too i was wrong it happened but yet i'm not gonna abandon ship i'm just gonna I'm not gonna drop you like that i'm gonna be in your corner and be with you because we all make mistakes man we all fail you know what i'm saying when has, when has Will Smith not shown that he was a man of integrity and a bigger man to get things right when things have gotten messed up? So all I'm saying is why everybody throwing him under the bus and everybody talking about the man like he's washed up garbage and how dare you? He's freaking human, just like you. He makes mistakes, just like you. Just because he's in the public eye doesn't give him no more amount of responsibility than it does you. Come on, man. Have some compassion. Have some humanity. You ain't perfect, and neither is he. 
You know what I'm saying? Let's 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 show some grace in this situation. I mean, damn, y'all act like he went out and shot somebody. Y'all act like he he went out and robbed somebody. Like he like he you know went out and a, and abused a, a woman or a child. I mean, you guys are acting like this man that did something he should be thrown in jail for. Yo, did you just hear what he just said? I heard exactly what he said. People are so fickle. You know what I'm saying? They'll turn on you and harp. They did Jesus the same way. He said a bird don't have nests and a fox don't, you know, a bird has a nest and a fox have holes. But the son of man has nowhere to lay his head. People will turn on you quick. Or they'll be quick to, to praise you when you're doing things according to their standard. But when you do something that's not according to their standard, oh man, they quick to turn to you real quick. Preach, bro. You know you preach. Preach. They did Jesus the same way. Have y'all ever been in a situation where somebody didn't turn on you with his family members, a friend? You know what I'm saying? You made a mistake. You effed up. But now, though, nobody want to mess with you. Everybody has disassociated themselves with you. They don't even act like they know you. People ain't calling you. When they see you on the street, they turn in their head. I've been there. Believe me, I've been there. But I thank God that he has always been in my corner. He's always had my back. He's always seen me through when everyone else wanted to throw me under the bus. He said, I forgive you. I still love you. This is the message we need to send to Will Smith. We forgive you, Will Smith. And we still love you. Because we know you're human. And we know that you being a black man living in this world, United States, is not easy. Especially when you have money and all this responsibility and all eyes is on you. You don't have the freedom just to be normal and human, which you should. So I just want to come and give my two cents. Since everybody else is giving their two cents. Y'all back up off a of wheel, man. He's human. Remember, you've made mistakes too. You want to be forgiven for your mistakes. You feel me? Yo, this is your man, LeVon. Just coming real quick, man. Just reminding all of us, including me, we're not perfect. We're human. We make mistakes. Let's show each other love. Let's show each other forgiveness. You dig? And show each other, you know, a better way. Instead of all this hate and degradation and, and, and bringing down, you know what I'm saying? Be human. Recognize that we're all human and love one another the way Christ loved us. One love, Mel Levon, I'm out.